all this filament, an empty printer. We interrupt this filament Friday for a special event. It's the unboxing and first print on a Da Vinci Junior by XYZ Printing. Exclusively for you, viewers of this YouTube channel. Do not leave your computer. You don't want to miss it. So let the unboxing begin. I opened the top and there it was. The tray of tools. Which included four little sheets of the sticky back paper for holding down the prints. And then I had this funky little brush, the extruder pokers, SD card, a metal putty knife, and a little thing to suck up the moisture. And then I pulled out the power supply. Well, kind of. And then the cardboard punched me in the mouth. Ow! And below that was the filament. All the loose pieces out of the box. Now it's time to pull the printer out. And I couldn't find handles to just lift the thing out. So I put the box on the side, wiggled it a little bit, and finally just got mad and pushed the box out of the way. Man, why was it so difficult to get it out of the box? Threw the styrofoam to the side, and now I had to fight with a plastic bag. Come on, I just want to see what this thing looks like. So lifted it over the top, and oh, there it is. The Da Vinci Jr. There's Junior next to its cousin, the 1.0. Now what's interesting, the first thing I noticed is that everything I took out, there's no guide, no setup guide, no, no owner's manual, nothing. So the fact that this is supposed to be an entry level printer, I, I would think they have some kind of sheet you know, it shows you step by step what you're supposed to do and if, if it was supposed to be in here, I didn't get it and maybe this is because it's an early sample, I don't know. Maybe it's inside. So let's find out. So this is how I take it apart with no instructions. Just start wiggling stuff until you figure it out. Then I realized, just take off the tape. That's the way the DaVinci 1.0 worked. I'm sure this is the same way. So off came the tape and then out came the cardboard and I was making progress. The next step, I found foam underneath the x-axis. Then I found more foam on top of the x-axis. But no plastic clips, no extra tape. So I grabbed the styrofoam block and out it came. So it looked like that was it. Okay, so no owner's manual, so I'm winging it. Now another thing that tells me that this is probably an early release, they sent me a separate package which has what they call the loading tube. It's like a Bowden tube. So it's this, this piping that goes from over here where the filament sits, goes up through and down into the head. And what's different about this already I can see from the DaVinci 1.0 is the bed moves in the uh, Y direction and then the, the extruder moves in the X direction and then of course this whole thing this whole mechanism goes up and down in the Z direction. So instead of the bed going up and down and being stationary, it's the opposite here. It moves back and forth and the extruder moves up and down. So that's quite a different design. And it doesn't look like this is removable. And if it is, but it's got these little clips like on the side, like I, I don't know what they're for, these little tabs and they're not threaded, where are they? I, I don't know what they are. It looks like there could be something that's placed on top of this. Now the extruder is supposed to remove somehow. There's a button, all right, there we go. So I can see the extruder. I can already see the hot end is similar to an E3D. It's got the round fins like an E3D extruder and it's all metal so that's interesting that looks like it could be a lot better extruder and then there's a fan blowing right across those fins to keep it cool which is really important to keep the temperature down for the PLA so that looks like a definite improvement over the extruder that's in the Da Vinci okay another thing you don't have is the big stepper motor hanging off with the extruder hanging from the x-axis. This extruder snaps right in place rather easily and it looks like I've got to bring the tube up from here and then bring it up and down into the uh, 
extruder here. And because this only stays positioned in this X position, doesn't go forward and back because the bed does, this tube, this slot here for the tube is, is fine. This is going to just come in here, go into it, and then they just move together. So very, very different from the 1.0. Now trying to install this tube and film was not easy. I kept putting my head in the camera. But basically I just shoved it in. It went in pretty easy so it didn't take much effort. Put it into the extruder, dipped the cover down so I get to the hole, and then put it into the motor. And the motor is just below this little connector on the left. And that was it. Moved back and forth with ease and everything seemed to stay in place. So it's ready to load the plastic, I guess. The power switch, the power port, and the USB port are all down at the bottom under the lip. And it looks like this is where the handle is, way down in the bottom here, which I couldn't find when I took it out of the box. So this is where I need to connect the power cord and also the USB cable. So it's the same kind of USB cable that goes on the DaVinci 1.0. It goes in here upside down. And then the power adapter, which is a 12 volt unit, and it's got a separate cord, so I guess they can change that for different countries. So the barrel connector goes right in here, and so now I can flip this back on its bottom and power this up. Okay, so I went to the XYZ printing website, and they had some pretty good videos on how to set this up. I probably should have watched them more when I started, but basically I did everything right so far. So now the next step is to get it ready to print. Now the controls in the front are very similar to the DaVinci 1.0. There's a center button here that's got uh, a QR code symbol. Maybe if I read that, you know, put a, a sensor in that, it'll bring up a manual. But according to the video, there was supposed to be some little brief manual included with my kit and I didn't get it. So it looks like they've got that covered. But I've got everything set up and I did home the axis and the one thing that was interesting is the head went down. On a DaVinci the bed comes up so home is you know up here in the upper right hand corner. Here it's down at the bottom left hand corner. Now the DaVinci Junior requires special spools that have a chip inside. That's what's in the white section. You hang the spool from the special hook on the side of the DaVinci. Then you feed the filament up into the tube that's underneath the motor that's going to drive the filament into the Bowden tube. Then you got to release the mechanism by pulling the lever and shove the plastic further up into the motor. Then you're ready to load it. To load it into the extruder, you have to do that from the controls. You go to Utilities, and then Change Spool, and then Load Filament, just like the DaVinci 1.0 and then the extruder will start heating up and eventually the motor will start driving the filament right into the Bowden tube and then into the heated extruder. So now the extruder is heated up so the motor starts pulling the filament and pushing it into that Bowden tube heading over to the extruder. And we should see it coming out of the extruder any second now. And there it is. It comes out as typically a stream. Now, there was a little plastic left over that was stuck to the extruder, so it started coming out as a loop, but that'll straighten out. Now, for the base, instead of glue, they give you these square sticky sheets. And to tell you the truth, it just feels like a big sheet of masking tape. So you just pull the back off, stick it to one end, and spread it across, across the whole bed. The printer allows you to insert an SD card. In fact, it comes with a micro SD card in an adapter. So you can put all your files on this, plug it in, and print right from the SD card. No computer necessary. So we're finally ready to print the sample print. It's on the SD card, so I selected Build from Card, clicked OK. Then it showed Sample with an arrow. I thought maybe there was more than one. Click the arrow, but there's not. There's only one sample. So I clicked OK, and then Yes. And that started the process, the extruder started heating up, and then the print began. Mm. 
So once the print was done, I tried to remove it with their putty knife. I wasn't too happy with that, so I gave up. I went and tried an X-Acto knife, which is thinner, to try to get underneath it. Still not much luck, so out of frustration, I finally just grabbed it and it popped right off. Go figure. So it looked pretty good. Um, let me show you a close-up. Now this is a clear PLA material, and the way the light hits it, it kind of looks silver in spots, but it's not. Overall, it looked pretty good. Now during the print, I heard clicking, and that means the extruder can't push out plastic. So I looked at the bed and could see that the extruder was actually cutting into the tape. This means it needs to be adjusted. So that's the next step. So that's it for now. I've got more to show you how to adjust the bed, how to make your own prints and print them from the SD card. I had to load the latest software in order to get it to work. So I'll talk more about that. So basically that's it. I've got 30 days to evaluate this thing and I've already used a five or six of them. But thank you XYZ Printing for letting me have the opportunity to evaluate this for you guys. Thank you to all my subscribers for getting us to a level where a company will give me one to evaluate. And thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping make this all possible. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, you want to support this channel, just click on the link up here. It'll take you to my Patreon page. Every little bit helps. So that's all I got. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. I'll see you next time with more Da Vinci Jr.